This early stage of the season, what's the biggest challenge for a team, Greg? Well, you know, B.A., early on, some teams know what kind of club they are. But for a lot of teams that have some turnover or coaching change, it's about finding who you are, finding your identity, figuring out what style is going to work. MP against Vassell. And the basket by MP. Well, I heard this the other day. MP connecting with Tracy McGrady. That's right, T Mac. They were discussing what it takes to be a leader. Well, it's always a good idea for someone like MP to reach out to a vet. The knowledge McGrady has can really help him out, you would think. Six on the shot clock. The kick out to Richardson. Stolen by Davis. MP outside. Pass to Westbrook. Back to MP. Puts one up from 19. Yep, that one's good. You know, when you're open on Westbrook's team, he makes sure to find you. He's a selfless distributor. And as Westbrook gets older, he's indicated that he's not looking to change how he plays, Grant. And that can be a double-edged sword, B.A. You love his aggression and confidence. But you wonder how his game will hold up as his athleticism goes. The shot by Pirtle, no good. And it's the Lakers' ball. Their last game, a win against the Suns. Looking to carry it into this one. And it wasn't just their starters putting in work. Their backups were real spark plugs on offense. Absolutely, especially on the road when you need those guys off the bench to up the ante. Vassell passes to Jones. Hurdle with a screen on MP. From the line, Jones misses. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of three from the floor. It's stolen by Johnson. And out of bounds, Los Angeles will have it. Out of bounds. You've got to keep it in the lines. In, not out. In. The cell against MP is James on the wing. Westbrook outside. MP outside. He tries the three. Can't hit that one. San Antonio goes the other way with it. They're moving on after the tough loss at the hands of the Pelicans. They definitely came into that one hoping to be competitive. Unfortunately, they were anything but. It wasn't pretty. That's definitely the case. I mean, I know they'd like to scrub that game from their memories and actually erase it from the hard drive. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. Now, if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Here's Richardson. He's coming off a 10-point game against New Orleans. Over James. And it's blocked by Davis. And that'll be San Antonio. Antonio with the ball, trailing by 17. 
and we've seen the Spurs part ways with some of their best veterans. It really speaks to the talent at the top of the 2023 NBA draft. Savvy organizations like San Antonio will time their rebuilds to the years when the draft holds some of those elite prospects. And so in the game for the Lakers, we've got Thomas Bryant. He's out there with MP. Russell Westbrook out there with Davis. And it's Reeves in a two-guard. Unloads from 13. Excellent D there from Davis. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebound in the circle. But it's been good on a number of levels. And just one of the most impressive titles in league history, guys. The 2020 Lakers winning it all in the Orlando bubble. A testament to LeBron James and that team. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Here's Jones. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. And here's MP from outside. Rebounded by Roby. You know, that 2020 bubble title for the Lakers. What made it so difficult? You know, B.A., the mental grind of all that time in the bubble. Three months in the same place. NBA players are used to being in four cities in a week. So it really was a different kind of challenge for them. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Westbrook. And the Spurs making a change here. Collins checked in. Jones against Westbrook. Pass to Sohan. Now here's Vassell. Defense right on him. Now Jones. Clock at four. Here's Sohan. Fires in the triple. Question mark about Sohan. Can he stretch the floor for you? Well, there's his answer. MP outside on the wing, Brian. Here's MP. Yes, sir. And it's Bryant picking up the assist. MP's got 11 points. And I've heard that MP has reached out to KG for advice, specifically to talk about how to be a leader in the NBA. And Grant, you talk about it all the time, the great leaders. KG is at the top of that list. Goes to show you how serious MP is about stepping up as a leader. Pass to Reeves. And it's going to be a three-second call. Hurdles checked in for... And the Lakers also making a switch. Jones has checked in. The Spurs have gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. Collins outside. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Vassell can't get it to go. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Fader on the way. And again, it's the Lakers. Game planning for Russell Westbrook is an absolute nightmare. There's just not much you can do to stop him. All you hope to do is slow him down. He's so fast, he's so strong, so aggressive. Slowing him down is your best hope. Pass to Collins. Back to Jones. Shoots over Westbrook. Jones misses. It has not been his game so far. I mean, he's trying his best, giving great effort, but little has gone his way. MP, that one's good. Time out, time They're out. really dictating the tempo on both ends. Lakers leading by 17 at the end of the period. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. More, more NBA. Good to have you with us at the half. And no doubt about it, some fierce competition in that shooting guard matchup. Well, you look at these two carrying the scoring load, both playing some fantastic basketball in the first half. We'll see if the imminent halftime coaching adjustments can slow down either guy. And now looking back on that first half, things were really clicking out there for the Los Angeles Lakers. 
They're scoring the ball with ease. The defense has done nothing to slow them down. This is what you look like when someone tried to use a small ball lineup against Shaq. Well, thank you, Kevin. If I'd average 50, these youngers just don't know who the diva was. I'd say they 60. That's right. Thanks, Kenny. And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to BA to call the second half. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Spurs shooting an unimpressive 30% in this game so far. I mean, there are some great guys in this league. Coach Greg Popovich sticks out. Just a tremendous person. I loved competing against his teams. Johnson and Pirtle, the big men. Then there's Josh Richardson, then there's Devin Vassell, and it's Jones in at the point guard position. That's who's in the game for the Spurs. MP no good. San Antonio with the ball. 17-point game. Coach Pop, the NBA all-time leader in wins. Any memories facing off with his Spurs? Well, I always knew that his teams would play hard, they'd be prepared, they'd play the right way. And of course, they exemplified the toughness and character of their leader, Coach Pop. James, outside. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Ilya Silva, right side. Drops in the three. Ilya Silva's got six. Three. Big men often are unaccustomed to closing out that far, but you can't leave Ilya Silva. Jones, the pass to Pirtle. On the wing, Jones. Just five to shoot. Pass to Pirtle. Nifty move. And the layup is good. Pirtle's got his first two points. I like Pirtle's ability to quickly move to the hoop after the screen. That, again, speaks to his mobility. And here's MP from outside. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got four assists in the game. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Outside Richardson. Vassell against MP. Vassell passes to Pirtle. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Number seven. First personal foul. First team foul. with possession here they trail by 11 on the court for the Lakers they've got MP their son Ilya Soba is out there with LeBron James then it's Lonnie Walker and it's Davis in at the center position Johnson passes to Pirtle here's Roby from downtown James with the rebound James has got four rebounds now from deep MP Hates Diop with a rebound. Hates Diop's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Pirtle. Here's Roby. And the deficit down inside single digits. Hey, whatever coach told him during the break is beginning to pay off. MP outside. About one minute played here in the fourth quarter. Here's Ilya Silva. Buries it from three. Boy, Ilya Sova, really an aggressive mindset score. I mean, when he's in rhythm and he's getting the ball in a good spot, he's a highly effective point producer. Pass to Pirtle. Back to Bates Diop. And Davis with the block. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. You know, I think the passing skills of LeBron are his greatest asset, and he's got some great ones in addition to that. But his passing is other world. When you get open, he gets it to you with exactly the right speed and pace so you can handle it. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. 
And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. Grant, we always talk about great footwork for post players, but how about perimeter players? You know, I'm glad you brought that up, EA. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score, whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post-up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who can do it all have superior footwork. Believe that. Pass to MP. From the arc. And another three for the Lakers. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Lakers. I mean, those swats. <laughs> they can get into your head, make you think twice about shooting it. These opportunities as they've kept that ball alive. A different look for San Antonio. Richardson's checked in for Roby. Vassell comes in for Collins. And it's Jones in for bates Dia. And the Lakers also making a change. Westbrook's checked in. Outside Johnson. There's the three. Knocks down the triple. Johnson's got five points in the quarter. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end. Always in attack mode. MP finds James. Back to MP. And they double up MP down low. James passes to MP. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. MP's got 21. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. And you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. James against Richardson. And the foul is called. Second personal foul. First team foul. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. So long and good night, everyone. I saw your appearance on NBA 2K TV where mm -hmm. you actually called a fellow African a dinosaur. <laughs> Is it safe to say you and Mr. Oppen are on the outs? We're, we're not on the outs, so no. We may not see eye to eye on everything, but at the end of the day, we're, we're teammates, man. and We want what's best for the team at the end of the day. Well, is it safe to say that you don't see eye to eye on Ockman's reported desire to trade you? Well, listen, I'm, I'm on the record saying I want to end my entire career here. And nothing's a change about that. So if the reports are true, then obviously, yeah, but we don't see eye to eye. It sounds to me like you're pretty unhappy here. Honestly, man, most of the time, it's been great. Uh, I love my teammates, I love the coaches, I love the city that I play for, so I can't complain, man, it's all been amazing. Okay, what 
don't chew low. Mmm, I think I said enough for today. I don't want to be a distraction around here. <laughs> it's a little too late for that, man. Uh, I mean, maybe in your opinion, maybe, but I think I'm going to stop here today. So thank you guys for your time. Nate, to the next time.